Hey everybody out there, Odin God logging on. Hey guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the video. And give me a like so it can get out to more people just like it did with you. And if you want to see more of my content, hit that bell button after you subscribe. Alright guys, my little hands have been busy. Let me tell you something. I made three different builds, so I'm going to be doing three different videos. This is video number one. Tomorrow I'll come out with video two, and the next day video three, okay? So that's why I say hit that bell button so you can see the new content if you like this content. So, guys, what this is, is a poison creeper build. Now, it's also mixed with rabies because rabies give uh, the, the poison creeper a sinistry, so I did max rabies out too, but in this particular video, I'm not going to bite any monsters, okay? I might bite them once just to show it, but I'm not going to be fighting with the with the bite, okay? Because basically what I want to showcase today is the actual poison creeper snake damage, okay? Now, let me just tell you kind of what happened when I was making the build and I was going through it. The poison creeper killed everything, alright? And I when I started, I had crap gear. I'm talking just noob gear that you, you you can get it as you're playing the game for the first time you got no gear this poison creeper snake is amazing and once you get 10 hard points into it you get another snake you get another 10 hard points into it you get another snake so by the time it reaches level 20 you got three snakes man and you're talking massive damage in normal nightmare hell's a little slower you know but but that's obvious you're in hell you know what i mean but it's great absolutely great so here's the build a maxed out poison creeper maxed out kern vine and maxed out sliver creeper now these give this sinister as you can see down below and so does rabies so when you jump over here and put rabies you're also giving it damage all right so you want to make sure that you get this 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 and your rabies okay that way you get your full potential of how much damage this can do here you want to put one 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 max one one and if you want a shield, which I do, I like to have the shields, a little bit of protection. Not much, but it's something. One here, one here. Okay. My gear is... Now, this ain't the best gear you can get, guys, by far. This build can go way beyond what I've done here because I just want you to showcase builds, okay? And if you wanted to be super godly, it would be different than this. But this is what I have. This is what you're going to see today. Okay. Heart of the Oak for the three skills and resist. Poison Gloves. Uh... This is just the best armor I could come up with right now. I don't have Enigma. I don't have that stuff. So, Rain, Elders, 3 to Summoning Skills, Ami, Storm Shield for damage reduction and, and all that. Okay, Here you'd probably actually want to go with a 2 skill shield. Uh, elders, Boots, this is just for resist. This is for to not get frozen, you know. If you wanted to bite, you wouldn't want to get frozen because then you're biting like 3 times slower or whatever. I uh, just wanted to show you this helm real fast. This is going to be actually the helm I use in the uh, poison bite build that I'm going to make. But what this helm allows you to do is have two, both of these. So you get your life and you get your damage. So it's, it's a great helm, man. Uh, I know that I still have both spirits, but as soon as I transform or something, it's going to disappear. So, so. Okay, guys. So that's the build. That's my items. All right. I'm gonna, I got a cow game set up, and the reason why I chose cows is because they have a crap ton of life, okay? That's why I chose them, so I could really showcase, um, you know, it's, it's, it's damage. Now, where did I put that leg at? There she is. Okay, let's go ahead and head to Act 1. Let's go ahead and summon three of these. Go ahead and grab some life potions. Why not? Might as well better have them than not have them, I guess. Now, when, uh, now, let me tell you something about this build. Now, there's different strategies that you can use. And whatever you feel more comfortable with. Like, if you just wanted to kick back and kill slower. I don't know why anybody would want to do it. But if you was kicking back, you probably would, you know. But, um... Basically, there's two or three different ways that you can fight with this. Now, first I'm going to show you poison creeper with me biting then i'm going to show you only poison creeper then i'm going to show you how to gather up a bunch of them at once and kill up kill a bunch at once i should not have re-got this guy so he's probably going to end up dying that's fine okay here's the poison creeper with the bite all right so you poison creep him first 
which lowers their poison resist, then you bite. Step away a little bit if you want. Stay in there if you want to, too. And you see, it, it, it does pretty good. It's a hard spot, because Cow King's right here. Okay. Okay. Now, if you only wanted to fight with just Poison Creeper, which is my preference with this build, particularly here. Okay. So you gather up these guys, get them nice and tight if you can. Just kind of get them tight. Alright, now they're nice and tight. Walk over here a little bit, gather up some more. Now your Poison Creepers are already going to start Poison automatically. Now, throw the Poison Creepers right where you want them, step away. Now this is without biting. Now, of course, I could bite that, and they're all going to die real quick. I could bite them, you know. This is just Poison Creeper. Which ain't bad. I mean, it kills me. You see that? Alright, now when you get down to just a couple, go ahead and just leave it. Because there's no reason in standing there, you know. You want to keep on gathering up more. Really watch the cows with might, because they can, like, two-shot you. With my particular gear I have on, anyway. Now, as you see, as I'm walking, I'm throwing the snakes, right? And every time I throw a snake... They're going to jump. The, the, the poison creeper jumps and attacks. All right, now, we're going to let that poison wear out. I'm not going to throw the snakes and watch the difference. Now watch. They'll still jump, but look how long it takes them. See that? When I throw them, they instantly jump. Every time you throw a snake, it's going to jump. So if you're wanting to fight with them, that's how you want to do it, man. Don't try to just stand around and let the snakes do their own jumping because... It'll take you an eternity to finish the, the map. So, just a little inside education there for you if you do decide to play with this build. Which you'd catch on to that anyway, you know. You're going to catch on to that. So, I figured I'll just save you a little bit of thinking time there. In case you do decide you want to do this build. Now, you also don't have to round them up. You can just throw the snakes, you know. And then just walk. And let them follow you until you get on to the next ones. When you get on to the next ones, what I like to do is poison the ones above me and then step back and poison the ones I have already poisoned. And they usually die with one strike of the jump. Okay. Just like that, man. That's how you do it. Now, of course, if you want to bite them, they're going to go down faster, way faster. See? You know what I think is funny about that, too? If you look at... if you, I'm going to show you something real quick. Watch this. i get these guys took care of so I can show you. Okay. If you look at the damage here... Let's just pull this sheet up. 11k damage, right? Now look at my Poison Creeper damage. 27k. But isn't it amazing how the bite does more damage? The only thing that I can think of that causes that to happen is the, the the rabies actually get damage from your weapon, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know that for a fact. Either that or maybe some, something's messed up in their calculation or something. I'm not really sure. But it's really strange how how it's like that. Here's a bunch of cats. I'm going to bite right here. Watch this. Right there. All infected. Look at that. Dropping like they never knew nothing. <laughs> Now remember guys, when you're playing with this build and you're using the snakes or whatever you're using, when you're playing with a poison build like this and you're moving around a lot, you're going to pay really close attention to what you're doing so you don't get like killed or whatever, especially in cows. So since we have a filter over here, always make sure that you're looking up here at the filter because you're going to walk away like this and out of stream, they're still dying. And they could drop a high rune or something and you're not thinking about it, you're focused on what you're doing, you're going to miss it. I missed one earlier. And what I like to do is, is after I do the whole cow map, or even as I'm doing the cow map, if there's a lot of cows like was just right there, I'll go ahead and hit M and look up here and make sure. Now look at there. See, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't see that crossbow hit the ground, but there it is. Now that, that's not still not a great item, that crossbow ain't. But think about if that was a bear rune or a john rune. So you always want to pay really close attention. Now i got to go back and find that. See, I, I, yeah, like I was saying, I didn't even see it hit the ground. I don't even know where it hit the ground at. Did I pick it up? No, I did not. See? And it's right over here. Now, if that would have been a bear rune or something, we'd have lost it. If I wouldn't have looked. And I just want to point that out to you because, yeah, it takes a lot of focus. Especially doing cows. 
not to get yourself killed, you know. So you got to look. So always pay attention to your filter when you're poison stuff and walking off from it because you ain't going to see it hit the ground. Not if they die and they're out of screen. That's why I love filters, man. That's why Diablo 2 Resurrected needs to allow a filter. It's ridiculous that they don't. I mean, that's a that's a no-brainer, man. I mean, that's the first thing you want to give. And a game like this is a filter? Come on! Anyway, I'm not going to start rant, raiding on stuff, ramping. All right, man, that's the Poison Creeper build, guys, man. I mean, pretty cool, huh? And it, I have done a T1 map with it. It did perfectly fine. There was no issues. All right, so let's do a little bit of gameplay in the game itself. Let me do my skills real quick here. Yeah, teleport. That's what I wanted. I'm going to go live. Okay. All right, here's a little gameplay. I'll go ahead and do uh, these two guys up here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, and as you can see, the snakes can kill. No problem. Even in the game itself. It's not an issue. I mean, they're strong, man. It's, it's unbelievable. There's those guys. Come down here to old Shrank, or whatever his name is. Shank, Shrank, Shrank. <laughs> Yeah, you can just throw snakes in front of you, throw snakes back here, and they'll jump right wherever you throw them. I mean, I really would like to see them even buff these snakes even more than this because it's an extremely fun build, man. I enjoy it. If it was stronger, it's probably all I'd play. I'd love to see a really good, uh, you know, snake build and stuff. Anyway, man, I mean. Let me just throw a T1 map up real fast. I think I probably have just a piece of crap one just to just to show you it can do them. Let me see. Maximum life. That's a that's pretty good. Okay, let's go. Ahead. Which one is this? Okay, we'll go ahead and throw up a map real quick, and I'll show you. It doesn't have much of an issue with maps. And this is level 87. The only thing that I'd be a little worried here is my survivability more than anything else. But them snakes keep you alive pretty good. But if you got a big shot all at once, of course, you know, you're going to eat crap. Now, now in maps, you do have to bite them. you got to use all of your arsenal in maps. But yeah, you know, as you can see, it can do it. Trying to get that, I was biting the crap out of that poison resist guy. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not set up for mapping, because if I was, I'd go about this a little differently. But, I mean, even like this, it can do it. I'd definitely be wanting to find me a different weapon, for sure. And this map ain't souped up or nothing, either, you know. But it's still level 87, so it's, it still shows you there's some power in this build, man. Tell you what, you don't want to be downwind on them girls, that's for sure. Let me jump. Get out of there. I really don't like those flying girls. Don't like them. Now look, man, if you, you know, you always want to make sure that your poison creeper poisons because it gives negative to poison damage, and then that's when you want to bite. So get them all poisoned, that little thing that's on their head doing that dance, then bite them, and, and their poison resist is like 41% negative. So it just that's why the bite tears them up so good like it does. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's don't throw the snakes. Let me bite right here. Now watch. See? It did not kill it. Now, throw the snakes. Walk back over. Bite. Now watch. Look at that. See that? Crazy, huh? That's when your poison truly does its damage, man. And 
there you go. Alright guys, that's the Poison Creeper Druid build. And in time, if I have enough time and I find the right items, I'm going to get, you know, poison facets and maybe a six-socketed sword or something. Uh, maybe four-socketed poison facets here. It just depends on what else I get to also have my resist I need and all that other stuff, you know. But I know there's a godly build to this. This ain't it, guys. This is like mediocre build. But you can get godly with your facets and a little bit of different items than I have now. Uh, there's one sword that gives like six to poison creeper. I mean, uh, rabies. That, that would probably be the one you'd want to use, you know what I mean? If you're going to be, you know, using your rabies for most of your killing. But anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Odin God, logging out. Hit that bell button, man, so you can see the other videos I'm going to make. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do, I do videos, you know, try to get one once a day if I can. Sometimes I don't get to do that. But uh, the next three days is going to be three new videos, so I'll catch you in the next one. Later.